Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys, Viper here, and welcome back to the second player review of the day. We've done the objective, Simon Card, he's in the team, and we've grinded him, and he is there. But first of all, before we actually get into the video, I made a few mistakes in the Tonali video regarding the upgrade pass. And I've got a screenshot right here, right now, um, to show you guys how it's going to work. So we're going to go in here. As you can see, you can see the campaign launch. That's their original rating. Three appearances in the next five games gets a plus one, which is really nice. One win in the next five games is a plus one as well. And then for attack on midfielders, one goal or one assist gives you another plus one. And for defence and goalkeepers, you just need one clean sheet in the next five games to get a plus one. So, there's three opportunities to get upgraded. Really good opportunities, in fact. Um, and I think a lot of these cards are going to get boosted quite highly. And I've lost my controller, which is not good. Here it is. Simon looks really good. If he does get this, uh, this plus three, which is quite possible. I don't know how well he scores or how well he performs. I actually need to turn my ring light on as well. Apologies about that, guys. It was a bit dark. But he's got good opportunities to get upgraded, right? Um, nice, oh, sorry, Nantes aren't the worst team in the world. They're certainly not the best either. But he's got lots of opportunities to get upgraded. Now, last year he had a five-star weak foot. This year he's four-star, four-star. High medium, right-footed. With He's five-foot six as well, so he should be able to turn really fast. He's got 95 pace with 92 dribbling, 86 shooting, 86 passing, and 78 physical. Now, that physical is nothing to be laughed at. As we look at the traits, he's only got flair, which interests us hardly because flair is very pointless. Uh, doesn't take long to grind either. It would take, you know, maybe 30 minutes. It took me like 45 minutes. Um, I was playing a lot of toxic people. So you know how it gets like in friendlies. Very, very frustrating. But I do like the look of this card. On the base card stats anyway, I haven't seen the in-games just yet. But you've also got to remember there's an opportunity for a plus three here. He'll guaranteed to get a plus one unless he gets injured, which is cool. Obviously, this all starts from April 1st as well. Let's look at the attributes real quick. Wow. These objective cards are insane, guys. 94 acceleration with 95 sprint speed. 89 attack position with 86 finishing. 91 shot power. 82 long shots, 90 volleys, and 76 penalties. He's then got 89 vision with 90 crossing, which is good. 86 short pass. With 84 long pass, which is also good. Curve is quite low at 74, so we might need to work on that. 96 agility, 95 balance, 85 reactions, which is a bit low also. 88 ball control, 94 dribbling, 88 composure. Really good there too. And this is where I get really interested. Uh, 73 heading accuracy is good and 99 jumping is good as well. But he's 5'6", so it's kind of irrelevant. He's got 90 stamina, 83 strength. For a 5'6 man... With these high dribbling stats and this good pace, it's going to be interesting. Now, his team of the season, was it last year or the year before that, was incredibly good. Um, it was because he was so small, really good agility and balance, and really good strength. So them things combined really do make this card quite interesting. As I'm looking at it, I really, really do think the best chemistry style for him is a marksman. Um, where is the marksman exactly? There we go. Now, you're going to see what this does to him. His pace is already really high at 95. He goes up to 96 finishing, 96 shot power, 92 long shots. Gets that plus 5 to his reactions, which is important. Ball control goes up to 98 and dribbling goes up to 99. With his strength up to 93. Once again, it's another league iron card that looks to be absurd. I'm really excited to use him. It's something that I am going to try with him. I'm going to try him as a lone striker. Now, that's risky, but I want to see how he performs there. And if we don't like him in the one striker, I'll tell you in the gameplay, and we'll switch him into a second striker kind of role. But, guys, I'm really excited to try him. Let's get into a few games and see how we get on with this Simon card. All right, guys, into the first game we do go with this Moses Simon card. Now, my uh, my sinuses are a bit all over the place at the minute. Um, so I'm a bit blocked up still. Sorry if you can hear that. This guy's got a good team. In fact, a really nice team. Uh, Zidane, Eusebio, Van Basten Prime. He's got uh, Desai, 
It's an interesting one, but it's a good team nonetheless. And I'm really excited to try this card. We're going to use him in a, as a as a uh, one strike it in a four two three one here. Oh my days! Oh my god! Oh my word! Did you see that dribbling? I know I didn't keep the ball, but that left stick dribbling was insane. I don't really, I've got to give EA some serious credit regarding the um, the objectives recently. Uh, the Lamella one was very underwhelming. But if we disregard that one, I've got to say I am genuinely so impressed. Oh, for fun, you've got to do better there. I know you're a bit a bit stinky on the turn-in, but oh, this guy's really coming for me. Look at that for a ball. We've got Yuri Vashiche. Hot birthday down here, though. Now, obviously, this card has good opportunity to get upgraded, too. Wow, that guy's just bodied me. Nice. Easy does it. Can he win any headers with his 99 jumping? Tell you what, he's not done bad there. <clears throat> Here he goes. Simon, Mbappe, Simon. Back into Neymar. Simon's going. Look at him go. Sprint boost. And goal. Oh, God. EA, man, you've got to calm down with these cards. If he, get, if he gets his plus three, which I don't know how good Nonce really are on, on Nantes, should I say. Um, but, come on, make that run there, Simon. If he could get, you know, he'll get one appearance, surely. Uh, I, don't, I don't think, he is a, he is a starter for, for Nantes, isn't he? Nice, Ramos. I'm like 99% sure. So that's obviously quite, quite a good positive straight away. This guy's actually decent. He's really annoying. Well, in that traff, never mind. Nice one, Ramos. Here he goes again. He's gone. He's not catching him, surely. Who is that? Desai. Yeah, he's not catching him. Simon's got two. He is so quick, guys. He is going to be such a big asset for people on the break. And uh, this might be. We're, we're, we're 16 minutes into the first game. This might be the new best super sub. The Super Sub of Dreams. Nice. Oh, unlucky. Here's Awar. Nice. Good play. Really nice play. Neymar. Simon. Simon. Oh, good save. That's the one thing that is a bit dodgy with him, and I've only seen it that, that one time, to be fair. Is his uh, finishing. How good are you from them? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This guy's going to leave. Let's get into another game. All right, guys, game number two with Simon. What a start, by the way, from my man. This guy's got a lot of icons. He's got Declan Rice in centre-back and Diego Delo. Your guess is as good as mine, guys. And he's got uh, Red Zakaria, and he's got a uh, headliner, who's, which is a lot better. But they're each their own. Maybe he doesn't have him. Maybe he didn't do the objective. But, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm shocked at how good a start this has been from uh, our little man here. Here he is. Oh, he's a danger. Oh, he's a danger, guys. Wow, that's good defending from this lad, actually. Is my ball right? No. I don't know how the ball's gone like that, but nice, Yuri. Get that into... Yeah, nice. Here's my, my DVD. Good sprint boost from him. Oh, that's nice. I wanted that team straight away. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a good finish, to be fair, on that silly turn. Um, but I don't know what name I was doing, really, there. I wanted it to him earlier. Feels really nice on the ball, guys. He's got one of the best sprint boosts on the game as well. Just because of his uh, his kind of body type. His body type and stuff. Wow, he's bottled that. don't know how he got in mind, but... And this is him playing as a lone striker in a 4 2 3 one by the way. Wow, good tackle. Jesus Christ. That was a good tackle as well. Whatever. He's getting the ball moving fast, which I like. Nice from Akimi. Simon. Simon, don't stop him. Oh, he's so quick. Oh, and I've yellowed it. Oh, I've yellowed it. That's really poor for me. He makes some insane runs. I, I imagine that if you're all playing like a very counter-attacking game of, of FIFA, uh, which a lot of people do, 
and you're you know you're under the cost quite a lot this might be the card that changes the game for you oh my god oh, wow that was some interesting left stick in there i didn't really like that from simon sprint boost what the hell is this card he is an absolute glitch Oh, unlucky. I was trying to be way too techy there. That's yours, my DVD. Oh. Why did Pope collect that like that? <laughs> what is going on? Nice. Simon, sprint boost, shot cancel. Oh, oh my God. Oh, score that. Yes, please. Wow. Wow, guys. You are seeing a different breed of card here. I don't know, maybe with that kind of left stick dribbling if he's more suited to like a wide roll uh but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to try him in a second striker just to see if we can get him going even in there as well you know i think he's gonna be better there good stuff good stuff here's nene into him again he just is so good at dribbling oh man his finishing is sus. I mean, I've got a penalty off it. His finishing is really suspect, guys. Yeah, good save. Uh, I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of his finishing, to be honest. But I consider this kind of card like a like an Adama. Oh my god, his finesses are actually really cold as well. Fair enough. He's a, uh, you know, and I, I know I said, you know, I, I consider him similar to Adama. Adama was still good shooting wise, you know. Uh, and the marksman, I think, is a really good chemistry style for the, for the, you know, boosting the stats that are already insane on this card. Wow, guys. Do I think he's a starter? I do. I do. I actually do think he can start for you. Hold on. Shot cancel. Look at that. Oh my god, man. His dribbling is stupid. Fair play. He didn't fall for the... Uh... Look at his dribbling, though. Look. Oh my word. Oh my word. I can't say... I can, I can feel his strength, but I don't think it's... Boosted as, as much as it says it is. Um, you're more looking at this card for a little bit of strength. And then all uh, the rest of it being just raw pace. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can't hold off Koulibaly. I mean, that's kind of expected, right? Once again, I think I've explained this before. Hold on. Oh, my word. I love this card. I love this card, guys. I, I I do genuinely love this card. Um, the players with the small body types are not going to feel strong, even if they say they've got good strength, you know. Ooh. Oh, Neymar. Play him in. Simon, he scored another one. Brilliant stuff. This guy's going to leave. Let's get into one more. All right, guys. So, review done on Simon. He is an absolute beast. Do I think he's a starter? I think that's arguable uh i would start him if my team wasn't let me show you my current team we are going to be live tonight by the way in about an hour's time twitch.tv slash wipalization we have got 50 picks lots of league spc packs i'm going to play some champs as well that's my main team at the moment i think if you've got a team like i do there i think you can look at this guy as your number one super sub he is levels guys his finesse shots are good his running is good. His finishing is a little bit suspect, even with the marksman. You just have to accept that because he's got plus 10 finishing here. And it still is a bit sus. It's okay, though, because he's a runner. He's powerful. He's quick. His sprint boost is levels. His passing is brilliant for what kind of player he is. These objective cards are getting to a point now where they are as good as your main team cards. Uh, Tammy Abraham was brilliant. Moses Simon is absolutely brilliant. Same can't be said for uh, Lamella. 
But Tammy Abraham and Moses Simon will get into most people's teams, in my opinion. Uh, I think he's brilliant, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rate his stats now real quick. Pace, I'm going to give a 9.5 out of 10. Because of his dribbling and because of his body type, he is rapid. He feels close to 99 pace without even boosting it. Unreal here. His shooting, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. His finesse shots are good. His shot power is good. His finishing is sometimes a bit suspect. But that's okay because of the other stats he has. He makes up for it in other areas. Passing, I'm going to give a 7.5 out of 10. It's good. Obviously, we didn't play him wide, which we'll talk about in a moment. But I really do like his passing stats. He's really good at interlinking the play. Very good at one-twos, which is the best way to kind of play him. Uh, is play a one-two with him and then just get him running. Absolutely brilliant passing-wise. Good crossing as well. If you're playing wide, you've got that opportunity there too with the good crossing. Dribbling. I'm going to give uh, a nine and a half out of ten. His body type, uh, his, his height, and his general dribbling stats make him one of the quickest dribblers on the game. One of the stickiest uh, players that I've used. One of the quickest at left stick dribbling. Uh, just unreal here. Really, really does separate him from a lot of cards on this game. Uh, he is unreal in this category. I can't stress that enough. One of the best dribblers on the game, 100%. And then we look at the physicals as well. I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10 here too. Really like that high strength on a player like this. It's very unique and you don't see that a lot. Kind of like a Dharma, but he's a lot better going forward with good finishing and good passing. Or not good finishing, but okay finishing. To where Adama has always had really poor finishing. Really, really nice here, guys. Uh, jumping, he's actually not even that bad in the air. I know I said at the start I was right about this. But he is quite good in the air. We played him as a lone striker. Really liked him there. He was very, very good there, which was surprising to me. We also played him as a second striker. And he was really, really good there too. Your options are very, very open with this card. Lone striker, second striker, right mid, left mid. Ram, lamp. Don't play him centrally as like a central cam though, okay? This card is brilliant. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Up there with a Tammy Abraham as the best objective of the year for me. Uh, he's absolutely brilliant, guys. Go and get him done. He won't take you that long and he can get into your team. And if not, in your starting 11, he'll be the best super sub you've got in your club. Guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell so you never miss a player review. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now, so take care.